artificial intelligence use in political campaigns is raising red flags for 2024 global elections. However, political experts say this could be a game changer. To learn more, VOS Paul Ndiho spoke with Zef Shamba, chairman of the International Political Campaigns Expo 2024, based in Cape Town, South Africa. Welcome to The Voice of America and uh, uh, happy to host you on Africa 54. Thank you so much. There's a lot of uh, talk about uh, AI, AI-generated content, AI in political campaigns across Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, let's start there. Give me your thoughts on what you think about the conversation surrounding AI, especially on the content. There is not much body of knowledge uh, around AI right now and its uh, application and uses. I think as Africa, we don't want to be left out because at the end of the day, it's something that is coming, it's a wave that's coming, we can't avoid it, and uh, it is the onus is on us uh, to be uh, engaged and involved in this discussion uh, as it starts, uh, and that way we then be able to shape the narrative as well. How would you alleviate uh, fears, or especially for people who say that, uh, for example, uh, AI has some good things uh, to it, but uh, it also uh, poses a lot of uh, risks, a lot of uh, challenges, so people are afraid even to talk about it. Uh, it's a subject that is very, uh, uh, that will generate a lot of debate when you talk about AI. The major issue that people are worried about, uh, to, uh, you know, in con uh, concerning AI is its uh, impact uh, on how things are going to turn out going forward. So a case in point is how it's going to replace humans uh, in certain things and, uh, and also in terms of um, uh, taking jobs away from humans. Uh, and when you start talking about that, people become so emotional. So I think that's one of the major areas that people are worried about. Then obviously uh, some of the areas are to say, am I really talking to a person or I'm talking to a machine? You know, there's that emotional aspect is also cut off and uh, people don't feel comfortable uh, when it comes to that. What information is being taken uh, about me uh, by something that I don't know how it's going to use that information? Again, it's, a, it's something that people are imagining and they don't know the extent uh, to which AI can be able to disrupt uh, their way of living. You have a major conference coming up uh, mm -hmm. uh, soon uh, talking about uh, AI, how people can use AI, especially in political campaigns, uh, people educating themselves about uh, uh, the potential of AI. We are looking at uh, having a headship discussion where the political leaders, political parties, election management bodies, and a number of uh, business uh, executives are able to really discuss uh, these issues so that at least they can be able to then uh, set the tone at the top uh, for people to follow properly. So there are four pillars around uh, AI that we are going to discuss extensively uh, over a two-day period. The first pillar being uh, AI and its role in political campaigns. Uh, you know, gone are the days where uh, a leader uh, is limited by time in terms of reaching out to his uh, uh, voters or at least reaching out to citizens uh, and what we have seen with AI it has got the ability of speeding up processes then the second pillar is to do with AI and uh, big data so big data is only potent uh, when you know how to use it uh, so it's good to have theoretical uh, you know presentations done and a lot of things that can be done uh, during a campaign which are so exciting but you have if you're not able to sift through all that uh, you are not able to uh, basically employ whatever uh, things that you think you can be able to employ given the time period that you have to do that. When it comes to communication uh, during uh, you know, a political campaigns, messaging, uh, AI is going to take a lead role uh, and it will help creatives uh, to save time uh, and then put most of their time uh, in doing what they are supposed to be doing which is creative. And these are political bodies, these are political leaders, uh, election management bodies, uh, companies uh, that are coming down. We have a panel that is going to have about seven uh, heads of states uh, within Africa and would want to make sure that we make the noise at the highest level so that at least Africa as a continent can start speaking about it and start contributing uh, to AI. To those people who are naysayers, mm -hmm. can AI be used for good? AI definitely can be used for good and there are many you know, good use cases uh, around, around AI. But uh, let me come to those who are afraid. There is a lot of work that is uh, coming in, in there. 
uh, big tech uh, is supporting a lot of startups, uh, as well as the governments uh, across the world are also employing private uh, for them to understand what this animal really is. Uh, and that should uh, you know, give us comfort to say uh, there are people who are worried, like we are, but they're doing something about it. On that mm -hmm. note, I thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much, Paul. That was Zef Shamba, chairman of the International Political Campaigns Expo 2024, speaking to viewers Pondiho.